this morning we're going to unload Legal Eagle Orv. This is the XL version. We're going to unload it from a toy hauler. We're going to do something a little bit different today and try to get some details of what all this looks like. Now, this is pretty much how I go down the road and how much I live in it until I get the airplane out of it. And uh, I've got everything scooted aside to take the airplane out, take the wings out. So it's actually a little more organized back this way. What happens when you go to take the airplane out or put it in, you have to move everything up front. And as you can see, I got a major mess up front because I've got everything up there. But I have to have that access to be able to do that. So everything's moved up front and I'm ready to, I'm going to open the back doors and then we'll get a, some more daylight in here and get some more pictures. This is what we look like running down the road. Just a big old toy hauler. And uh, every once in a while, someone will get amazed that there can be an airplane in there. I have to open that door to show them. Yep, there's an airplane in there. This is what I look like when I got it, the door open. Now, the only difference between now and running down the road, up on the floor under Orv, I put the chairs and then alongside it on each side, I put those black boxes with the yellow tops. That way everything is contained, everything is set so no matter where they move, they're not going to get into the wings. And uh, I uh, have to unload the generator and the claw. The claw is my tie downs. And the generator, that's my backup generator. I actually have two of them. If it's real hot and I gotta run air conditioning, I gotta use both of them. Okay, this little box right here is my Legal Eagle care kit. And what happens, I have everything in this box to disassemble and reassemble orv i when i pull the bolts out i put pins in now a lot of times when i load it i don't get too good about putting everything back where it belongs as i'll be in a hurry but this right here is what i put in where the quarter inch pins are push your quarter inch bolts out and put these in or I put these in. These are nails cut off and trimmed on the end. They're about 3 16 inch diameter. They're a whole lot easier to put in and take out than putting the bolts in the first time. So I put these in and as I put the bolts in I replace these with the bolt. Now in this box is everything that's necessary to take it apart and put it together. You'll notice there's not too many tools in there. Everything's got red tape on its 3 8 Everything else is 7 16 So it makes quick and easy to identify. And uh, this here is for, for hose clamps that I use for various reasons. And uh, anyway, everything goes into that box. Now, I also have in here jets and spare pl spark plugs, anti-seize, um, all the basic things that might need to be done when you're out somewhere on a site or, or flying from some who knows where spot. And then on down in the bottom, I got my torque wrench, I got my Allen wrenches for the Werner, and I've got uh, my spark plug wrench. And then I've got spare wire ties. These are the wire ties that I use to hold the center section cover on. And this here's for the pitot tube cover. Um, I'm holding a cheat sheet. And instead of counting all those washers where they go on the tail, this is my cheat sheet. It tells me where they go. So when I take it apart, I'd, all I got to do is just try my best not to drop them. Put them back on the bolt and put the nut on and leave them on the top wires and uh, when I get ready to reassemble it just follow my cheat sheet and I'm in business. 
Now, what we're looking at here is a stand that goes into the tail, and we're looking at a, uh, a location uh, piece right here. I keep those anchored and stored up there on the sidewall. Uh, I've got a long tube, one by two with a two by two on the end of it that I use as a pry bar to remove my tail surfaces. And uh, anyway, what happens, this particular part that I'm carrying here comes over here, kind of to the center of the trailer, comes out, and what we have is about right there is where the center of the bottom of the seat needs to be to be able to get the right distance and the right alignment for wing installation and removal. Now, this stand right here is what the tail goes on. And uh, what happens, you start out with it setting over here a little bit behind because it's easier to try to pick the airplane up and set it on there than it is to try to get everything right the first time around and have to move it and the airplane together. Now, what we have is our airplane. Now, I've been on some pretty bumpy rough roads, so it's kind of moved around, but uh, these are actually made for my big fat tars that I normally have on ORF. But what happens, I'm using E-Track. That keeps it from coming forward and backwards. And this one over here uh, keeps it from moving either way real good. And uh, it can hop up and down, but it can't move too far. Can't move up against the wing. And uh, anyway, what'll happen here in a little bit, we'll take those loose. It's easier. What you do is you pick that up, it lets it slide over, the other end comes out, and you're done. And yet, when they're locked, they're not going anywhere. And on this end of the airplane, I've got one strap. Now, I said I was on a rough road, and sometimes when you're on a rough road, these things can come loose. This right here is primarily meant to keep from going up on our snows and just to secure the tail end. Uh, it can move a little bit to the right and left, but uh, it's primarily meant to, to keep it from going up on our snows. Now we got one more E-Track over here. So at this point in time, we're ready to take the airplane out. Now, you might notice I got the struts secured in place on both sides, and uh, I don't even take the cables out. So, what we're going to do now, what you do is you pick up the tail of the airplane. You get a real good hold on it, and uh, I think if you were a young, strong person, one hand you can run down the ramp, but uh, I take two and I take my time and I try to be careful because uh, I have to get a good firm grip or otherwise I've got a runaway airplane. Not a fun adventure. And uh, the final, am I there or not? You come up and you sight down where the wings would go. And in this case, my wings would go into the side of the trailer. So, what I gotta do is go forward some more and make a slight right turn. So we'll try to, try to do that. Now, someone had asked, well, gee, why don't you just chalk the wheels? Well, one of the problems with chalking the wheels is sometimes you need to move them and shift things around to get it all match up. Uh, sometimes I'll chalk one wheel, either the inside one or the outside, but I don't shock both of them to give it that a movement. Now, the back of the seat is over the little red board, so that should be pretty close. 
Uh, it looks a little bit misaligned, but it looks close enough to get us where we need to go. I think we'll move this just a tad bit more. And it's a matter of picking it up. And uh, oh. now we should be in good shape. Now, a little bit more detail. What I have, a little rope and a, and a quick link, quick connector. You, reason, you, you notice I got two on each end? Well, typically if I put one, those knots will get untied. Uh, you notice some of them are getting pretty loose as they are. Now something else to keep my, keep stuff from moving around, I put Velcro on it. And up here, I put Velcro on my controls up here to keep them from moving around. And uh, now, one of the things I've done to make this easier to load and unload, this is not on the plans, but I add a little bearing surface here, a hinge surface. That way I don't have to wrestle with any of these cables or any of that center. You just pull out each side and you're in business. Uh, now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our legal legal care kit and put it up here. This is just the box out of it, which is the things we really need. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to put it together uh, with pins. And a lot of times I do this when I get home. I basically put it together with the pins and then put it in the hanger to finish putting it together. Because uh, I guess I'm getting lazy as I get older. And when it's in the hanger, I don't have to hurry. Uh, if there's other things I gotta do, I can do it. Now I've got one of these that has a very sharp point. And that's when something's not aligned very good. And you've really got to do some movement to get it lined up. That's what I use. Uh, okay. So what happens is, at this point in time, we're ready to bring it out and put it in place. The wings, now, that is. My wings are sitting here. They're secured on this end. We have, again, some E-Track. They cannot move forward. They cannot move closer. You notice the distance between them. On the back side, we have distance. I can actually put either wing on either side. Uh, I can do the right. What I typically do when I bring it out of the hanger is I take the right wing and put it in first and then put the left wing in first. Now, this little rope ties the front and the back straps together. And again, these wings aren't going anywhere. And that E-track right there, we've got our rudder hanging up overhead, got our center, sex covering, center section covering up overhead, and back down in there, we got the, the vertical stabilizer, and then we got the uh, horizontal stabilizers, and we've got the, uh, the elevators. Uh, and so as we move along, we'll take all that out. Okay, now we're going to get to, uh, we've got the wings, the secure on each end. We've taken all that out. Now they're just sitting in, the, sitting in their cradle. What we have up here is our trolley. At least that's what I call it. And what happens, this trolley attaches to the end of the wing. These pins up here keep it from sliding around while we're moving. And when I'm loading and unload, those pins go up there. Now, this trolley, uh, I took a bunch of skateboard or, or bearings off a skateboard that were thrown away an inch and a quarter square tube 
and uh, anyway it goes out to the end now you notice there's a strap up there that strap up there is what holds my end plates on my wing here's where the other e-track is and uh, my trolley's down there so we'll go get it and bring it down here Uh, you notice this trolley is down here about where the end of those wings are. I have a quick fastener here and a quick fastener here. This one's a bigger one so I can get my hand around it and I'll pick up the end of the wing or whatever I got to do. Now, this was originally in a cargo trailer. These were made to screw into the bows on the cargo trailer. When I got rid of the cargo trailer, I took all that out. Uh, thinking who in the heck was going to put a legal eagle in a cargo trailer. Anyway, the back end of this, there was a bed there. I put a couple of inch and a quarters across there and anchored to them. And that gives me the support on that end. Down here, I'm anchored into the structure up there. It wiggles around. No big deal. The worst thing it might do after uh, many, many years, I might wear a chain out or something. But that wing weighs about 26 pounds sitting there so on this end at the very most you're picking up about 15 pounds so it's no real weight but the question is how do you pick it up without adding weight to the airplane well the secret there is these things and what happens these things are mounted overhead <sighs> and uh I'll lay them down here on the floor. Now you notice I have them labeled. This is left outboard. This is left inboard. And what happens, the wing sits on this surface, and that surface keeps it from moving right, right. around. Now something that's going to get kind of interesting here today is this wing... I done something I've never done before. I had help putting this wing in here. And so we put it in. And I have just now noticed I put it in backwards. So my normal trolley is gonna be fun. But uh, this is not how it normally works for this first wing. Because normally these are on the outside. I pick up that end of the wing Wheel it out, put pins in, put struts in. I'm done. Go to the next one. In this case, I'm going to have to take the wing out and turn it around. So, we'll do the same concept. This is a left outboard. That's why it looks like I might be kind of disjointed there. The left outboard. And what i done is I took the airfoil. I allowed a little bit of movement. And... Uh, that's how that goes. Now, these, these before mentioned straps, they go into uh, they go into these little eye bolts on one end and the other end again I have made some slight modifications to these These are, uh, at one point in time, were standard 20 foot long straps. You can see the modification, and you can see, gotta pull it out here. What happens is, is it goes in there. This keeps it from sliding left to right. These little 
points out there. And uh, what you do is you tighten it up. And again, it takes two hands because you pull the strap with one and then pull this one with the other. So what I've done is got my end plates on. If I had everything done right, it'd just be a matter of taking that wing out and putting it on. So I've got to take it out, turn around, bring it back up in, and then put it on. So I'm going to turn the camera off here a little bit. Well, got the wing turned around. Now, that's not it's the first time I've ever done that. So, uh, what it does, you can see underneath, I've got that end sitting on the ground. And up here on this end, I've got my end plate anchored, my chain, my trolley. Now, I've got this end attached, and kind of the strenuous part uh, is getting that, especially the first wing, up there, and the pins in. And what happens, I've got these pins pushed in backwards. The bolt goes in this way with the nut towards the back. And so my next set of pins, uh, I will either put the bolt in or I'll put those bigger pins in as I take these out. Now I've got the end plate on this end and uh, don't have the stretch up under it yet, but it's up in there, it's anchored. This end is secured. Uh, that end of the airplane, the wing is secured. That helps it maintain and stay into the uh, into the tail stand back here and kind of moving around. Next thing we'll do is put the struts on it. We'll start with the front one, which has no control wires in it, and then we'll do the back. Now, I have the pins in front and back, top, and everything is in there. The cables are like they should be. They're not twisted or anything. And uh, the end of the wing up here is still secured. It does not need to be. So what we'll do next is we'll go up and we'll take those end plates loose. And then we'll put the end plates on the other wing Turn the airplane around. As a matter of fact, we'll turn it around before we go up in there and put the end plates on the other wing because uh, as I get older, I get lazier. And it's like if I can save a trip up and down, I do it. Plus, it generally saves time. So we'll turn the airplane around. We, we actually got to disconnect the wing first. And while we're up there, we'll disconnect the strap. That way we can get those end plates off of this wing. Turn the airplane around. And then we'll go back up in there and attach the other one. Now, this is how it should work. These snap on here. The wing fittings are here, ready to go into the fuselage. And uh, this right here, this end plate, goes on. that end of the wing and then these snap into here and down on this end they snap onto there and then the other one does the same thing on the back side. Now, what happens? We got a bunch of bad video here. Okay. Now on the back side, snaps in there, and then you pull it down here. You got to get it all over your controls and your leverages and everything, and it comes down and fastens on there. We have our chain. We have our chain 
then we have our wing. And we're over there quite a ways. So what happens is, is you, you bring the chain this way, you pick this up out of here, kind of tilt it a little bit, swing it around here, walk to the other end, holding the top of the wing so it don't want to tip or anything, pick it up, you're good to put it on the airplane. So we're going to go do that now. Now this, this process would take two people to film, and it's just me, but see I'm completely out of that cradle. And uh, what I'm doing is walking along, just kind of keeping the wing from wanting to, to move around. Now you can see it down there, and down here it's in a cradle. Well, what happens, I'll try to get this, when I pick up the wing, it kind of swings around a little bit, but now that end's anchored. I've got this end. I can walk out and put it on there. Okay. I've got my other wing on. And uh, it's getting kind of windy. I'm at my home airport. I don't need to worry about putting it together right this minute. So I'm going to take and move the airplane into the hangar. And... Uh, before I do that, uh, along the side wall, you will notice I've got my elevator and my rudder and my vertical stabilizer and my horizontal stabilizer. And up here, I have this clipped uh, and it's not going anywhere. And I have that one clipped. So, we'll take this, put it on the back of the airplane, move the airplane over to the hangar.